my intros. They're fantastic. They're just amazing. Let me move a little closer to you because I got purdy today. Yeah, I did. I actually did my hair. I took time to do my hair and the reason why is because I cut it myself. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> yeah, it's a little choppy. <laughs> I cut my hair myself. Why? Why? It's questionable, the things that I do. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's questionable. We don't quite understand why I do the things that I do. No, but I do them. <laughs> um, I stated in the last video that I was running low uh, with uh, the the sweaters uh, and the sweatshirts, but I I did purchase this off of Amazon. Uh, it's a corduroy. I think it's a corduroy shirt, uh, button up shirt. It's very heavy. Uh, it's very warm. Now in the picture, the model wears it like this. Very so cute, so cool. So what is that? <laughs> so yeah. Could you imagine me as a model? Could be both, you never know. So anywho, um, oh, I just got, I, I'm still winded from that. Uh, today is a laundry declutter. There was a lot more that I was saying. Uh, I was talking about this shirt. The model that was wearing this shirt was wearing it like I was wearing it, but she looks a lot better than I do wearing it. She looks so cool and hip and awesome. I don't feel the same way, which is shocking because <laughs> clearly you see my modeling. <laughs> so, anywho, um, I sat on this shirt for a while, not like physically, but <laughs> don't think I needed to explain that, <laughs> but not physically. I sat on the shirt uh, for a while before deciding to purchase okay, it. Okay, sorry, my battery died. <laughs> so getting right into the video because I have gone on long enough. <laughs> um, we are doing a laundry declutter. I have done, um, I did do a laundry declutter months ago. It was the second video of my series, not the mini garage series, but um, the series that I had done before. The series is called Most Extreme Declutter and Organize. Um, it's my journey to minimalism. I'll have the, uh, I'll have that series, the playlist linked in the description box below. But the last laundry declutter I did was the second video of that series. We ended up having tub talk because clothing is a lot for me. It's a hard item. I question myself a lot when I'm going through clothing. Um, and I ended up, I ended up having to stop because I felt like I had gotten rid of a lot. We had a lot of clothes, you guys. Like, I mean, a lot. We had a lot of everything. And 
I feel like we did let go of a lot, but we were still left with a lot. And I have recently been looking at my closet and my dresser drawers and I see a lot of clothes that I don't wear. I just don't wear. Literally some of this stuff has been hanging since I put it up there since the last declutter, laundry declutter, which was months and um, months ago. And then, uh, where else was I going with this? The experiment. Um, that's the first thing that we're gonna do for today's video. Tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and start decluttering. Today, we're going to do a little experiment. And I wanna see, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna let this run, the experiment, uh, just because I have to get going on this declutter. I just wanna see. I wanna see how I feel with removing basically the majority of my clothes. Now I'm not gonna do this to my husband's clothing or my kid's clothing. I'm just doing this experiment for my clothes. Laundry is a hard item for me to declutter. I think it's because of the volume of laundry. And it, it is a difficult item for me to let go of because clothing is just a hard item for me. That's one of the reasons why I ended up having tub talk in the last video. <laughs> We did remove a lot, a lot, but we were also left with a lot of laundry too. I knew I was gonna have to do another laundry decluttering video just because of how much was left. One of the things that really has bothered me since the last laundry declutter is that there were a couple of articles of clothing that I removed from the get rid of pile. There wasn't a lot at all. The majority, I would say 99.9% .9 of everything that I, I decluttered and put in the get rid of pile, it went, it, it did go. But there were a couple of articles of clothing that I second guessed myself on. I do that a lot, especially with clothing. I second guess myself a lot. I couldn't allow myself to let it go because I kept thinking, you, you can't let go of this. You have to keep this. And there's a multitude of reasons for it. And we're going to talk about that in today's video. And I'm going to talk about some of the mini breakthrough moments that I had while filming today's video. This experiment, what we're doing, and again, I've never done this before. I have never done this before. I'm just totally going with it. Um, with this experiment, what I am doing is only keeping, only keeping the bare minimum. The clothes that I'm keeping are the clothes that I absolutely cannot live without. I wear them all of the time. These are clothes that I wear frequently. I'm only keep, I'm only going to keep clothes that I wear like on a daily, weekly basis and clothes that I absolutely love. We're making quick decisions. Like I'm talking like fast. Now again, we're not getting rid of anything. This isn't a final decision. It's just an experiment. And that's why I'm, I'm making these really quick rash decisions because I know that I'm not getting rid of it. We're just gonna see what it would be like. What is it gonna look like? More importantly, how is it gonna feel with just having the bare minimum, just having the clothes that I wear all of the time that I absolutely love. So each pile, I'm making very quick, very quick, rash decisions. I'm not, I'm only allowing myself five seconds of article of clothing. Seriously, we're gonna whip through this. I'm, my goal is to get rid of, in this experiment, to get rid of about 90% of this. I know, it's a lot. I know, that's a lot. But that's the goal. So, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and I gotta keep telling myself, it's only for like, I don't know, maybe 24 hours we'll let it go. I don't know, it's getting late. We'll see, maybe not quite 24 hours, but we're gonna go with it. You ready? And go. experiment holding these two items right here which I think these two I can't remember I think this one for sure 
This one, for sure, in the last laundry declutter that I did, I put this in the donate pile and I took it back out. Okay, this one here, I don't think I put it in the donate pile, but I've held on to it. I keep holding on to it. I have had this shirt for over a decade. Over a decade. I've had this shirt probably 12, 13 years. I'm not kidding. This t-shirt, which is, I got it at, I, I, I remember where I got it too. I got it from Walmart. Why did I take it out of the donate pile? Why did I take this out of the donation pile? Why? I have to figure this out. Because all of the times that I've gone through my clothes, this is probably one of the only articles of clothing that I have held on to for over a decade. And I just can't get rid of it and I cannot figure out why I hold on to it. What is it about this shirt? Seriously, what is it? <laughs> like, for real, what is it about this shirt that I just don't let go of? I think it's because I do like it that I hold on to it, but I don't ever have the right occasion for it. And I feel like because it's a knitted t-shirt, it's something that like you can't wear in the winter, but it gets too hot in the summer. I think seasonally, this is a problem. And I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't worn it. I think another reason is, is that the longer we hold on to items, I feel like the, the, the more of an attachment we grow to them. I remember the day I got it, where I got it, who I was with, it was with an old friend of mine. It was a really fun day. Um, again, I think I'm placing a memory with things, even clothing. And I think that the style of it is really cute. There's something that I've always liked about it, but I just, I don't ever wear it. But I won't let it go. I won't let it go. And I think that the, the number one thing that keeps hitting me is the fact that I, it's just simply because I've held on to it for so long. I honestly think that. I don't think it's so much that I absolutely love it and I think it's the most fashionable thing in the world because it's, I mean, it's cute. I think it's cute, but it, it's not the greatest thing in the world. But again, I, I keep, I think I've actually placed this in the donation pile a couple of times, not just on the last video, but a couple of times. And I always kept taking it out. And I honestly think this is my gut feeling on this. Always follow your gut. I think my gut feeling is that it's simply because I've had it for so many years. That you hold on to something for so long that it just becomes harder and harder and harder for you to let go of it because you've held on to it. You, you, you grow an even bigger, more stronger attachment to the item. And I honestly think that's the only reason. I, I can't think of any other reason why. So uh, I, I know that we're just placing clothes to the side, um, but this is one that I will be officially getting rid of. And another one too is this one. This, I, the thing about this one is that the belt to it broke. Um, there's a button missing on it. I really do love this. Um, I got that, oh gosh, when did I get it? This is another one, uh, probably over a decade ago. I got this over a decade ago. But because the belt is broke and there's a button missing from it, um, I just never mended it and I never got a replacement belt for it. And I never, and I always keep saying I'm going to fix it. I'm going to, you know, mend it. And I never do. And it just sits. It, it literally just sits. It's, it's not doing anything. And Again, I think this is another item that holds a memory for me because this, I, I wore this on my first day to a really fun job of mine. I, it was the longest job I ever had. It was uh, one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. I absolutely loved working there. And um, this is what I wore my, my first day. And I loved how I felt in it. I love that, I, I honestly did. I felt really good. It, it's 
it was a good day and it made me feel really good and I was wearing this. I'm even placing memories with clothing. I, I seriously will find a way to grow sentimental attachment. I will find a way to attach myself to an item emotionally. Uh, I will find a way to, to obtain sentimental attachment to an item. I will, I, I will, I'll, I'll find a way. And I don't want to let it go because I think, well, what if I never find something that looks similar to this? Like I want, I want something similar, but I haven't found it yet. I think that's another reason why <laughs> these breakthrough moments, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. I'm telling you, if you go through your stuff, if you sit down and you declutter your items and you start really digging deep into it, you will start finding the answers to why, why you're holding on to things. I swear, every time I declutter and I do an experiment, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Yark. Zoe, do you mind not sticking your whole nostrils up against the glass? Yeah. 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 Okay, I have no idea where I left off. What is going on? I have no idea where I left off. It's actually five o'clock at night. Yeah, it's five o'clock in the evening and it's already no. dark. <laughs> Anywho, again, I don't remember where I was. Seriously, the breakouts, the breakouts from the dirty gloves in the garage. I kept touching my face in the garage when I was working in the garage and my face broke out. Yeah, I know. Or putting a paintbrush on my face because ooh, it's soft. It's look at soft paintbrush. So let's brush it on our face. You know, just a paintbrush that's been sitting on top of a vehicle for who knows how long out in the elements. Yeah, Danielle, just brush it all over your face because it's soft. That was a moment. And this is gonna be the fastest I've ever just no dis watch how we do this. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Uh on the table is keep, on the floor is to the side. Ready, and go. Oh, that was two in one. Nope, yep. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, it's a little stuck. <laughs> it's a little stuck, a little stuck. Oops, we're just going. We're just going, we're just going, that's a cult. We're just going, we're just going, just going. Not making decisions, both of those. No, wrong way, <laughs> this way. There, done. See how quick that was? I mean, I'm talking fast. Whoa, that was loud. Fast decisions, fast, fast, fast. <laughs> this, this, uh, blazer right here i had it in the donate pile uh the last laundry declutter i took it out because i do like it but i'm but i'm trying to find an occasion for it and i still haven't had an occasion for it so that's one of the reasons why i took it out of the donation pile is because i only have one other blazer and i wanted a blazer that looked you know, was a little different. Um, and I really do like this, but I don't have an occasion for it. And I haven't since I last decluttered. Um, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know why. Don't, I do not, do not know why. I don't know. I don't know. Hello, it's day two, two, day two, day two. Um, I am going to show you what I pushed to the side for this minimalist experiment and what I decided to keep for this minimalist experiment. However, I decided I decided to switch things up a bit. Um, 
this minimalist experiment just went from minimalist experiment to just laundry declutter. However, the experiment, I think, uh, was a good idea, very good idea. Um, the idea that I had was to make quick decisions on my clothing, which we did last night. Well, yesterday evening, it just gets dark out by five o'clock. But it was just to make quick decisions on, not even thinking about it, just don't even think about it, just, just, just grab the article of clothing and yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. That was the, the, the experiment. And what took the pressure off with this experiment was the fact that I knew that I wasn't actually getting rid of this stuff, I was just pushing it to the side. And that took the pressure off. But then, I started to think about it. Before I put the clothes that I wanted to keep for the experiment back in my closet and in my dresser drawers, before I did that, I decided to, to leave the piles in here and just do a little bit of thinking. And I did. And yes, it hurt my brain. <laughs> but I have decided um, this experiment, because the what I was originally going to do was kind of once the experiment was done, I wanted to go through the clothes that I pushed to the side and then make a conscious decision on whether or not I really wanted to let it go. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm letting it go. So this is, I'm gonna show you, now this may be a little confusing, cause I'm confusing. But let me first show you what I pushed to the side and what I was gonna keep, and then explain a little bit further. Cause I'm confusing and I don't know how to explain things. <laughs> so everything over here was what I pushed to the side. I have, I mean, literally so much. That, I mean, this, this, it, let's just dump it. Let's just dump it. Here, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the amount. Well, this is dirty. I gotta keep that in there. Let's just show you, give you an idea of the amount. Like, this is a lot. This is, this is a lot. Look at this. I have... This basket, which is dirty clothes, this has to get washed, but look at all of this. I got four articles of clothing in here. And then I have all of this, all of this. Look at all of this. This is a massive pile, massive pile. This is a lot of clothes, massive pile, massive. To me, this is a lot. This is a lot of clothes. And the thing about all of this right here is that a lot of this is actually really nice clothes. Like I have a cocktail dress. Um, I have this sweater, long, it's like a sweater dress. Uh, this sweater, I got this nice blazer, another long sweater. I mean, some of the stuff in here like this, some of the stuff in here, you guys, is some of the nicest clothes that I own. I honestly, in the past, would never think to get rid of half of this. I think one of the reasons why I held on to this stuff for as long as I did is because it is the nice, some of the nicest clothes that I own. And I'm afraid to let it go because one, I spent money on it. I did some soul searching last night. I spent good money on it and I think to myself, what if I have an occasion for it? You know what I mean? Like what if something comes up and I need this stuff? The thing is, is that an occasion has not come up in a very long time. Some of these items of clothing I have not worn in years, years, years. <laughs> not a couple of months, not a year, but years. And I'm holding on to it and it's taking up space in my closet, in my dresser drawers, because I am afraid to let it go because of those reasons. This experiment 
originally what was supposed to take place was I was gonna push this stuff to the side for about a day. I was gonna let it sit for about 24 hours. I was gonna hide it, pack it away, let it sit somewhere for 24 hours, and then place all of the clothes that I wanted to keep back in my room and just see how I felt about it, just see how I liked it. And then when I, you know, a certain amount of time had passed, I was gonna do 24 hours. Um, you could do longer than that. You could, you know, make the quick, you could do the experiment where you're just making the quick yes or no decisions. And then all of the items that you push to the side for the experiment. Um, and again, that takes the pressure off of you because it's just an experiment. You're not actually getting rid of it. You're just pushing it to the side and pretending that it's not there, but you know it's there. So that should take the pressure off. So you could let it sit for, you know, however long you want, a day, weeks, months, however long it takes, and then come back to that pile and then make a final decision. You could certainly do that. It's it's just simply the experiment is simply just to give you a better understanding of a better idea of what what works for you. If you like having that minimal amount of clothing or not, it, it takes the pressure off and it gives you a better idea of what you actually really love and the things that you could possibly let go of versus the things that you just can't live without. It gives you a better understanding. And with me, I mean, you could certainly go that way. You just let it sit, see how you feel about it. That was the initial, you know, idea for the, it was the, that was the initial plan for this experiment. But after doing some soul searching and sitting and thinking about it, where I'm at right now, and personally for me, I don't even want to go through it. I know that if I went through it and I really started asking myself questions on it, I would pull stuff out and keep certain things. Would I keep a lot? No, I'd probably let go of a majority of it, but there are certain articles of clothing that I would keep and it would sit for who, who knows how long, but I would just simply keep it because it's an expensive item or I think of, you know, what if I need it one day or the fact that I actually do really enjoy it, I do love it, but I just don't wear it. I don't have a, an occasion for it. So for me, it's just going. And I'm very, I'm happy that I made, I am happy that I did the experiment because I think I'm now at, a, a, I think I'm at a stage right now in my journey to minimalism where it's now just yes or no. It's just yes or no. That's where I'm at right now. This is all, this is a breakthrough, honestly. Um, this is a breakthrough moment for me because I don't think up until right now I've done anything like that before where it was just yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And the fact that I was calling it an experiment, it seriously took the pressure off because it wasn't a definite thing. Um, but I think I'm ready, I think I'm ready now to just yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. There is one category that I know I won't be yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I, I know for a fact, and that's sentimental items. But when it comes to makeup, clothing, shoes, kitchenware, decor, everything else, I really do think I'm ready for that yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no decision making. And you might not be. You might not be at that point where you're ready for that. Um, and pushing these things to the side and just kind of letting them sit somewhere where they're out of sight, out of mind for a while, I think it'll make you realize if you actually really do miss it. And everybody's different. Some people it may take a day, other people may push stuff to the side for a couple months and then come back to it. It's whatever works for you do what works for you and maybe you'll be like me and you'll go through this experiment and then think well honestly I don't need to sit on it I don't need to sit on this I just want it to go over here is all of my clothes that I'm keeping so everything in here is clean I'm gonna fold this and put it in my dresser and then this is all of the clothes I'm keeping that have to be hung up so I'm gonna hang all that stuff up 
And then this is all uh, dirty clothes that I have to wash. So, uh, but everything in there, I'm pretty sure, yeah, everything in here, because I already did the yes, no experiment, I'm keeping. So I have a donation pile, a keep pile, and a maybe pile for Lucas and Zoe. And what I'm specifically looking for when placing articles of clothing in the donate pile are clothes that I know for a fact I can get rid of. So clothes that I know they don't fit into anymore, clothes over the summer that I know they won't fit into next summer, clothes that I know for sure they don't want anymore. All of that is going into the donate pile. Clothes that I'm keeping for them are clothing that they wear on a daily, weekly basis, the, the clothes that they love. And then there's a maybe pile because there were there were clothes that I wasn't sure if they wanted to keep or not. So they had a maybe pile to go through. Both Zoe and Lucas went through their maybe pile and uh, most of it went. But um, I wanted them to, I just wanted them to look through it so they could decide, um, you know, what they wanted to do with it. But um I know as I was decluttering, I was sort of talking through some of these breakthrough moments that I had, but I swear every time I declutter or do these experiments, I learn more and more about myself. I learn something new about myself and why I'm holding on to things. And in the past, I used to, I used to do this a lot when I would declutter, I would like I stated earlier, second guess myself and I would pull it out of the donation piles. And that's because I was scared that I was making the wrong dis decision. What if I needed it again one day? What if I had an occasion for it? What if I end up liking it? I spent good money on it. You know, all sorts of things run through my head when I'm letting go of something. And as I've stayed on this journey to minimalism, I, I, I notice it becoming so much easier for me to make those decisions and not second guess myself. One of my biggest goals for this experiment, this laundry experiment, was to keep only 10 to 15% of the clothes that I own. Because I honestly probably only wear about 10 to 15% of my clothes. I definitely don't wear all of my clothes. I don't even wear half of what I own. I wear probably on average about 10 to 15% of what I own. And the goal when starting this experiment, it was to just keep that 10 to 15%. At the end of today's video, you're going to see what's in my dresser, what I'm left with in my dresser, in my closet. That is the least amount of clothes I've ever owned in my life. I have never owned such a little amount of clothing before. How are you feeling? Me? You excited? Yeah. Yeah. Super duper excited. Me too. So, um, um, I don't think the did we in the last laundry declutter did we have you on there? Yes, we did. We just went through. No, we didn't. I just went through your sports stuff quickly. Uh, if you're new here, this is my husband Ian. <laughs> And uh, he, he is going to go through his clothes. And I thought it would just be fun. I thought it would be fun to, to do this together. You know? I mean, are, I know the excitement is just beaming out of you. I know. I feel it. Um, Ian, why don't you go ahead and tell everyone. I wonder if I should move you guys closer. We'll just leave it. Uh, why don't you go ahead and tell everyone. Uh, what you did the last time we did a laundry declutter, did you, let's just put it this way, did you take things out? Did, did you I? take, did you, did you take things out of the get rid of pile? I don't remember. Yeah. Did you? I think I might have. He thinks he might have. Because I'm noticing some stuff. Now, Grant, I, I did it too. I did it too. There were certain items that I took out of the get rid of pile. I did because I just couldn't part with it. Uh, I did a minimalist experiment. I, I, I did this. Um, it, basically, the experiment was I took all of my clothes yeah. and I, I didn't even think about it. 
I just said yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I didn't even think about it. I didn't ask myself any questions. I didn't stay on the, I just literally went like this. Yep. That's what you want no. me to do. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, the, the experiment is to just relieve the pressure of actually removing the clothes. All right. Because clothing is a hard item. Clothing is a hard item to let go of. And I know you have a little bit, obviously you took some things out. Yeah, I did. So. Well, that, I didn't, I don't remember, I don't know, we've done a lot. <laughs> we've so, done a lot. I don't, I, we have done a lot. And by the way, I have a, a ton of tools for you to go through. Just yeah. boxes. We're, I might as well tell them now. We're gonna have another sit down, going through your tools. We're gonna do it together. All right. I'm pretty sure a lot of, like Steve gave me a bunch of those ones. Steve. Remember oh, Steve. Before we moved, he gave me a bunch of. His, Our old missing, neighbor, Steve. Yeah, and missing batteries and stuff. So, like one box, I just, it's just all garbage. Like they don't, the batteries don't charge anymore. So you took Steve's junk. Yeah, he like gave it to me last minute. That's going. This is going. Well, in. now is this donatable or yeah. is it is donatable? Make well, sure. Well, the white tea probably isn't. Okay. But that other one is. Okay. Yeah. So garbage, out, garbage. I want you to throw over here. Right. Donation items. I want you to throw over here. Or do you want to keep? That? Keep. Put it right over by you. Okay. Yep. Keep it. Keep it. It's just a blue t shirt. Oh, all right, yeah, keep it that one. Keep it that one, keep it that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Wow, you're actually getting rid. I thought you were going to keep a lot more. Those are ripped. Are they? Yeah, those got holes in them. Are these? I don't know. Uh, Why do all of your stuff have holes in them? Because I wear them. Well, <laughs> because I wear them. That's keep a key. Keep these, keep this. Okay. Keep it up. Okay. Then they're comfortable. They, I know, you live in them. <laughs> Okay, now this is a shirt that you've had forever, forever, okay? I want you to think about it, because I knew you were going to keep it. You, I knew you were going to keep this. Feel it. I, no, I understand that, but here's... It's probably time. No, but here's the thing about this. Yeah. How often do you wear this? I wear that a lot. In the summertime, I wear that a lot. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I wear that a lot. But it's, it's fading on the it, it is fading. You can certainly keep it. No, no I don't. I'm just, I'm, I have to ask you these questions. No, I think it's time to get a new one. Is it time to get a new one? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, oh, I thought for sure you were going to keep it. Yes. 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 No. You are kidding me. No. But pause, pause, pause. You, I, I asked you why, why? I why? asked you, I, I asked you why, why, why? He got. Okay, let's let's take a pause here. Let's take a break here for just it's a, a moment. From no, let me. I want to take a break here for a moment because you buy T-shirts like this. Now, not a lot, but you you lately have been getting into them. Yeah, they're, they're cheap. I just find and cheap. and there was there was a couple of others that you got. Some are from Amazon. Some are this one's from Target, I think. Yeah. And he wears it that day, and he loves it. He loves it that day. But then literally 24 hours later, it's off of him, and I never see him wear it again. Ever. I, I don't ever see you wear it again. Do you think that this was possibly an impulse buy? Yeah. Duh. But, but like, I like this. I just don't like the, the feel of the t-shirt. So you just don't like the feel of the t-shirt? Yeah. 
Um, Cause I do like that cause I remember this. One of the things that I've been telling them is sitting on items before purchasing them. Like sitting, if you want to purchase an item, really yeah. sit on the item and think about it and come back to it maybe a week or two later. Uh, yeah, I feel like I do that more now. Like I don't really buy anything now. Yeah, well you don't, which is good. Wait until we get to the tool conversation. <laughs> Wait until Ian and I start decluttering and going through the tools. That's going to be an interesting time. I feel like with the clothes, it's just not interesting for him. Ian, I shouldn't say he doesn't care about clothes because I I don't know. I don't know how he feels about... I almost dropped my phone. I don't know how he feels about clothes because I don't know. <laughs> I, I think he has a I, I think he does a good job letting stuff go and I think that he's let go of a lot you know with this declutter he let go of a lot more than the last declutter uh, the last declutter he let go of quite a quite a lot but he did pull a couple of things out of the get rid of pile as well because he was second guessing himself and I noticed that uh, in this declutter he wasn't really hesitating or second guessing himself and he we got rid of everything so he did a really good job I think with clothes it's just something he doesn't really I think with clothes it's just something he he isn't passionate about so it's kind of like a I don't really care if I keep it or let it go type of deal wait until we get to the tools that's going to be a different story <laughs> The tool situation is going to be a whole other conversation. Okay, we're almost done. Ian is doing such a good job. Yeah. 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 Seriously, I think you're doing a really good job. Like, just like making a decision on if this is something you really like or not. Yeah. I like it. You're doing yeah. good. Like, I really like that Nike sweatshirt. It just sits one size too small. So he's talking about this one. So he really, really likes this one, but he's letting it go because you know it doesn't fit. It fits, but it's like... It's tight. It's really tight. Like and it's, if it's not something you're comfortable with, it doesn't feel comfortable, you're not going to feel good in it, then it's not worth keeping. Yeah. You know? And it sucks because there's times where we like we own stuff that is small, but we, I, I mean, I've done this all the time where I keep things that are too small for me, but I hang on to it because I think, well, what if I lose a little bit of weight and then one day I fit into it? But th again, that's like a what if question. And if it's something that doesn't make me feel good right now, then I really don't want it being a reminder. You know, I don't want it sitting there just looking at me, reminding me that I, I can't fit into it. When I can buy something or wear something else that I have that does fit nice. Uh, keep. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get a pair and I'll toss these out. This I am wearing. Because I think these are getting pretty faded. What? I'm wearing this. No, that's fine. Oh, I'm keeping that one. I that's know. That's Costco. I know. It's so it's so soft. One step forward and another back. I will never try to fool ya. I'm one heartbeat away from going mad. Girl, when you're looking like that. Close up, close up. I'ma get closer to you. Yeah, got me, baby. Got me hooked on you once again.
another chance Loving you is all I wanted I'm wide open for a love affair Girl, when you're looking like that Close up, close up, I'ma get close so in today's video, we really just went through clothing. I went through my clothes, the kids' clothes, Ian's clothes. I didn't go through sheets, blankets, towels, jackets, and what else? I think that's it. I didn't go through all the rest of the stuff, and that's because um, with sheets, each bed has two sets of sheets. I will have to go through comforters and blankets. I did, however, get rid of one big blue comforter though. Uh, that's in with the donation, uh, the donation pile. So um, I did get rid of one comforter off camera, but I do have to go through throws, which I'm planning on doing when I go through sentimental items. <laughs> Throws are hard for me to let go of. So um, I'm not, I, I didn't go through that in today's video, but I do have to go through throws and blankets and jackets in another video. Um, and then as far as towels, I got rid of all of my bath towels. Uh, I'm gonna show you a picture of some of the old bath towels. That's not all of them. Some of the other old bath towels I was washing but I did get rid of all of the old bath towels. I got a whole new set of bath towels. Uh, they all match, that's what I wanted. So there's two bath towels per person. Um, but I will have to go through all of the hand towels again because I'm gonna get rid of all of my hand towels, minus seasonal towels. I'm gonna keep my seasonal holiday towels, um, but regular hand towels for both the kitchen and bathroom, I wanna get rid of all of them and just get all matching ones as well so um yeah that that is about it i i do have to go through shoes again i forgot about shoes i'm gonna have to go through i'm gonna have to go through the shoes again eventually uh but i think that's it i really think that's it for today's video there is always so much more that i want to say there is always so much more that i want to say but uh i just don't have enough time <laughs> In the next video, we are heading back into the garage. I have to go through the trunk uh, of the vehicle that's parked in there that doesn't work. <laughs> I still have to figure out how I'm gonna get into the, the trunk of that vehicle. Uh, I also have to work on the other side of the vehicle, the side that we didn't get to in the last video. Uh, I have to get to that side as well. So I'm hoping to finish up the garage mini series either in the next video or the video after. So there's hopefully only two more videos, max. <laughs> but uh, we shall see, we shall see. But that is it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you so much. And we will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everyone.